Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. How are you? Sunday afternoon. What a beautiful, gorgeous day. Turned out this morning it was cold and rainy and uh, I shot one video this morning at the farm where we finished moving some uh, yearling bulls around and it was just miserable. We fed hay and uh, basically we just got out of there by noon. So here it is mid-afternoon on Sunday. Boy, the weather's turned, the storm system's out of here, beautiful blue skies and uh, pretty warm, man. I actually have to go put some shorts on, I don't know. But hey, one small project I wanted to tell you guys about. You see that pompous grass behind the fire, behind the, uh, the spa on the swimming pool? I also have another one of those at the end of my driveway, if you can see it way down there. Well, they do not like cold weather, and you can see, man, the winter storm just wiped them out. Well, those things are really tough to cut, and uh, the best way to do it is with a uh, gas-powered hedge trimmer. So, uh, I bought one several years ago, an Echo HC150 from the good guys over at Richardson Saw and Mower. And uh, the thing worked great, but the problem, like everything else, uh, I've probably had this thing five or six years, used it a lot the first two or three years, uh, then got so busy at the farm, so many projects. Same story as all my other equipment, I left gas in it and it was gas with ethanol and of course the carburetor just stopped working so I'm trying to get it out trying to fire it up of course I uh, cleaned the carb looked at not the carb I cleaned the uh, spark plug put new clean fuel in it and uh, tried to get this thing to fire up blew out the uh, air cleaner same deal will not work at all so uh, what I did was actually remove the carb off this did a little bit of research and you guys are not gonna believe this. Well, you probably will. Some of you may have been down this road, but for small engines like this, you can buy the whole entire carburetor, the air filter assembly, the air filter, you get new fuel lines, new spark plug, $13.99 on Amazon. And uh, if you're a Prime member and you order over 25 bucks, free shipping. So uh, guess what? I'm not gonna jack with this. So we took the carb off. We got all the parts laid right here in this little tray. I'm gonna order the new one. It'll be here later this week. And we're gonna do a little experiment and see how good is a cheap Amazon carburetor. $13.99 for the Echo HC150 hedge trimmer. All right, guys. More to follow, stay tuned. Well, it is Monday afternoon, March 15th, 2021. What a beautiful, beautiful afternoon it is. It's gotta be like 80 degrees sunshine here in North Texas. Uh, so what is my after work project today? Well, we're gonna do an oil change on the uh, Silver Bullet 2019 Chevy Silverado HD 2500 with Duramax. But, you know, if we're gonna be outside in this beautiful weather, you might as well throw something on the grill. So we're gonna uh, smoke some pork loin while I'm working on this project. We're using a little meat church seasoning. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, the other project we're working on is the uh, Echo Chainsaw, or excuse me, the Echo uh, gas-powered hedge trimmer. We got the uh, Amazon uh, carb in and we'll be uh, doing a little work on that. All right, guys, more to follow. Well, we got a busy afternoon, man. It's Monday afternoon. You know what I love to do on a Monday afternoon? Smoke some pork loin. Uh, uh, uh. We got the Traeger going. So I just finished doing an oil change on the uh, Silver Bullet HD 2500. Got that wrapped up and completed. I'm not gonna tell you how far past due I was, but let's just say I'm past due. Let me tell you what, it's expensive to do an oil change on these diesel trucks. You know, that one holds two and a half gallons of uh, synthetic, you know, oil. You got the filter. I mean, it costs a hundred bucks just to change the oil yourself, much less uh, pay somebody to do it. But I digress. Back to the uh, Echo HC150 hedge trimmer. So today, this video is all about how good is an Amazon China-made carburetor replacement for this hedge trimmer. You're not gonna believe this because I honestly don't believe it. But yesterday was Sunday when I made the first half of this video. And I went on Amazon, 
ordered a replacement carburetor for this hedge trimmer, $13.98 and with Prime free delivery. Uh, how can they even make a carburetor for $13.95? If Amazon pulls this off, I, you know, I'm a new fan. I may even have to buy some Amazon stock. Uh, but hey, let's check it out and see. So let's do a little unboxing, see what we got here. But 24 hours. I mean, literally I'm standing out here yesterday making this video saying, hey, I need a new carb. Shame on me for leaving ethanol gas in this. Hold on here, I'm trying to do this one-handed. My GoPro is not charged, so I'm using my iPhone for this video safety seal out let's see so this is a uh, I don't know how you pronounce it puzzle carburetor with maintenance kit so let's see what's inside this bad boy oh okay hey I like the looks of that hey here's the carburetor itself Wow all right so that's all that's in the little box hold on while I set the phone down or up Bear with me. All right, I'm trying to get everything out of the packaging. See what we got here. Whoa, hold on. Okay, here we go. So what did we get inside of the box? We got a carburetor. We got a spark plug. These are the little prime uh, bulbs. You got two of those. You got a replacement air filter. Look at that. You got some gaskets. Not sure. Well, we need two of them, but we got two of them. Look at this. 90 days money back guarantee. Wow, they stand behind their product. Nice little box. Oh, let's see here. Oh, no surprise brand new made in China. So you gotta think this was made in China, shipped across the ocean, $13.98. What impresses me even more is I placed the order yesterday, Sunday afternoon at four o'clock, and here it is Monday at five o'clock and it's been delivered. So this is what we got. So we got all new fuel lines. We got a new air filter. We got the two uh, little gaskets. We got the uh, primer bulbs. We got a spark plug and the carburetor. So let's see how this looks compared to the old stuff. So there's the new carb. And look right here. New. Old. Old. New. Oh, wait a minute. Turn it around so it matches. I mean, everything about this is exactly the same. New. Oh. Old air filter. New air filter. I'm just amazed. You can see the old fuel lines. They're actually a little bit brittle and really stiff. Here are the new ones. All right, guys. Well, hey, I'm going to see if I can get the GoPro going, set this up. See if we can get this carb swap down. I'm not gonna bore you with every little detail of the carb swap, but hopefully I can get this up and running and then uh, we'll see what happens. Sit tight, more to follow.
Okay, we got the fuel lines going. Now let's see if we can get these guys uh, situated. So this guy goes up in there, stays up in there. All right, so at this point, let's look at the carburetor. Carburetor goes in that position. We gotta make sure we got a gasket on it. Which way the gasket goes. We have a couple of different ones here. This is what was on there, so we're gonna probably go back with this one. Let's see if we got some screws. So this guy goes like this. Ah, so this carb goes on this side. Goes through like this. Let's get our gasket on. All right, so there's your carb. Let's see if we can get this slid back in. Get a little Phillips screwdriver. All right, I'm going to tighten this up a little. So far, so good. Put that on. Let's see here, we got our new air filter. I gotta do a little research here and make sure I get it on the right side. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've figured out is that the clear one goes on the left side of the carb when you turn it upside down. The black one goes on the right side of the carb. I got enough slack. See what we got here. Man, this is tight, and my fingers are so sore and scratched up from miscellaneous jobs at the farm. It is amazing how painful something like this can be on your hands. accidentally pulled that black hose through the housing. All right. We'll turn this back over. See what we got now. Well, you know, it looks good, but I'm not sure if it's actually correct. I am not sure if it's absolutely correct. Every time I look at this, I keep thinking that big grumwood is going to come out, but I think that's just part of it. All right, guys, I'm going to go get a pair of needle nose pliers and see if I can push this back in there. Okay, guys, I spared you a little bit of pain and suffering here as we started to put this back together. So this right here is the throttle cable 
comes to the front and you can see there's a little lever on the back of the throttle that was connected. I think I had a problem there before because that didn't seem to move. It's, and I'm a little worried because you see right here how this is moving, but the cable itself is not. Now, so we'll see what happens there. I don't know if that's supposed to work that way or not, but we'll see what we got. So here we got one fuel line going in. We got another, I guess one of these is a fuel line. One is got to be a return or a vacuum because honestly, you got this guy right here that's got that going to it. And I think it goes right up in here as a breather of some kind. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to get this back in there. Oh, the joys of trying to do a YouTube video. Well, having only one hand. All right. There we go. So that's up in there. So I really think we're pretty close to trying this guy out. So we got cold start, run, carbs in the up position, that's down. We got a new spark plug. Let's put a little fuel in here and we'll see what happens. You know, I'm really not expecting much for $13.95, but I am impressed that Amazon a has that sitting on a shelf somewhere in a distribution center in the Dallas Fort Worth area and that they can get it delivered by the very next day. And what's the real shocker guys? It came US Postal Service in my mailbox. The US Postal Service can't deliver a letter in 10 days, but yet somehow with Amazon's assistance, they were able to get this going. All right see what we got here so I think we're looking pretty good so let me see if I can get you down somewhere where maybe we're in the shade and the the uh, we're not gonna get into all of the there we go let's get this set up let's see what happens here guys all right so we got gas the starter is in the on position the ignition is plugged in we're gonna put it on cold start. I'm gonna press the bulb and we'll see if I get any gas flowing to the car. Looky there, I have gas going through the clear line to the car. So you know, in theory, this thing should start. Sounded promising. That was pretty amazing. We got a little life going to it, but unfortunately the throttle was not working well and we were doing a high, an absolutely high idle. So I got to take a look at that and see if I can get that adjusted down. But hey, some progress. This $13 Amazon China made carburetor may work. More to follow. Okay. So the throttle, you know, in the last section, it was running full speed, wide open. I had this throttle cable ran over the top. Had to do a little research, found out it actually goes underneath. So now my throttle seems to be working a little bit better. We're gonna see now what it does and what this actually means. And maybe it'll fire up. Let's find out. goodness 
Have you guys heard of goodbyes before? $13.95, an Echo HC15 motor hedge trimmer that was not running. A Hudsel carburetor brand spanking new, $13.95. This is one of the modern miracles of the world. How in the world can this come from China across the sea? Somebody in China had to make this. Not a big fan of China, China, coronavirus, China virus, whatever you want to call it. But hey, I'm not a fan of China. But in this case, how in the world can they make that $13.99? And for Amazon, they got to make a little money on it, two or three dollars. You got freight to get it over here. This is a loser from a business perspective. There is no way they can make money on that. Anyway, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the, in the mouth. What's the saying? If a gift pony comes your way, you hop up and you ride. Well, that's what I'm doing. So there you go. Can't believe it. $13.99, Amazon, China-made special carburetor, and this Echo hedge trimmer is back and running. Hey, hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment. Have you guys tried any of the uh, cheap China carburetors? Let me tell you what, I've got a rototiller around here and a couple of other things that are not running as well. And before I go and jack with them and put a carburetor rebuild kit, if I can buy a China knockoff car, $13.99. I'm just amazed. All right, guys. Deal or bust? So far, this is a deal. Hey, glory be to God. Leave us a comment. Thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Really appreciate it. Thanks. So, you know, it's been a pretty good afternoon. Here it is, it's about 7.30 on Monday afternoon. So after work today, we completed the oil change on the truck and got that wrapped up. But then we also got the Echo chainsaw running. Hopefully you guys can enjoy that video. But hey, uh, also check this out. Guys gotta eat, right? So we did some pork loin on the Traeger grill. Pardon me, but I can't even hardly move because Kimber, the company dog, is standing by waiting desperately to sample anything that comes out of this. So let's see what we got. guys so look at that little pork loin morsel right there man got a little smoke ring to it this is the uh, meat church hot honey rub mm, 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 mm. all right guys we got to finish the uh, echo chain uh, hedge trimmer video more to follow